Hi everybody, Nick Martella here from Martella Consulting and welcome back to our continuing series on learning how to use the IP communicator from Honeywell called Firewatch. Today I'm going to show you a basic installation of the unit. This is uh, my test panel which is a Firelight MS9050UD. So let's go ahead and take a look at the installation. There's plenty of room to mount the unit in the cabinet. This is the latest model and you'll notice that there are two clips here and then behind the unit here and there's a metal bracket and you can order this part called IPBRKT from Honeywell and the unit screws to that and then there's also a cover plate it's like a plastic cover with all the terminal designations shown there so for my installation I mounted that IP bracket in there and then I also have another part that you can order called the IP split this is also from Honeywell I think you can also get it from ADI and you'll notice it comes with two short telco jumpers to connect to the COM1 and COM2 uh, dialer ports and this is essentially nothing more than an RJ45 uh, 2 to 1 splitter so I've combined both those cables, plugged those in there, they're 8 pin connectors and then the unit, if you buy it from Honeywell, comes with this uh, modified RJ45 cable, essentially it's a one end of an RJ45 Ethernet cable and then all the pin, all the wires have been taken off with the exception of pins 4 and 5 which uh, to the telco interface is uh, tip and ring. Those connect to the terminal strip here on the left on the terminals labeled to AP or to the alarm panel. So that brings the telco output of the dialer through here and into the unit. I also have a Ethernet connector plugged in down here to my to my local network. And um, I've also connected up a couple other things for testing. I've got the inputs connected so I can short them um, and send a, an input. Uh, and also down here I have a serial connector which I can use to program the unit. I can also program it you know, via uh, hyper terminal through um, the Ethernet or through a Telnet session if you will. Again this model is an IPDAC 2UD and you can see I've got the little uh, modem plugged in. This is allows me to do upload download to the panel um, as long as you tell the panel that it's okay to do that because that's not a UL listed uh, approval. Somebody has to be on site to allow that to happen. But that's basically the installation and uh, stay tuned we're going to be doing some programming of this and uh, we'll go from there. And by the way I've also got uh, this input will accept either 12 or 24 volts so I've got power coming from my auxiliary connection on my MS9050UD. And that's basically the installation. Come on back and I'll teach you how to program this unit.